Dollar Tree long decor signs. Now, the ones I'm using are from the fall season, but Dollar Tree carries these all year round. It just has different images on them. Going to use six of these for my first project. Now, I'm using the back, but I did remove the front images just so my projects can look cleaner. So it's totally up to you if you want to leave it or take it off. After removing the sticker, I'm going to glue the first two decor signs together. Now I'm going to use a combination of wood glue and hot glue. For the other two that I'm going to make, I am going to cut them, but before I cut them, I am going to glue them together. And now before I glue them, I'm going to just mark them down where I'm going to cut them. Just so when I glue these together, I don't um, add hot glue on the other side. So like that, I can reuse these little pieces. Now it's totally up to you if you want to cut them first and then glue them or just do it like I did. But I feel like this was easier for me since I am using my jigsaw. And this is how they look. Now for the vase, I'm using a Dollar Tree shelf. Now I'm going to just cut this a little bit down just because one, I felt like it was too long and two, as you can see, they have two holes on each side. So instead of leaving them, I decided to cut them. So if by now you haven't guessed what I'm making, I am going to make these little pumpkins out of these decor signs. So before I glue the pumpkins to the vase, I am going to paint them first. So I'm going to paint one of the pumpkins using some white chalk paint mixed with a little bit of ivory so it can be, or actually it's not, this is not ivory. I'm going to make the color ivory. This is like a butter something. But if you already have an ivory, you can just use that. The other one is going to be white. And then the other one is going to be green using the Waverly chalk paint in the color celery. Once these are dry, I'm going to distress the edges and make these look more farmhouse. For the stems, I will be using two Jenga blocks that I glued together and painted them using the Waverly Antique Wax. And look how cute these pumpkins are turning now. Now I'm going to start gluing these to my little stand and I'm going to start with the middle pumpkin which is going to be the tallest green pumpkin and I'm using a combination of wood glue and hot glue. Then I will be gluing the other two right in front of it but this time I'm going to overlap them just a little bit and I'm going to glue one one on each side to decorate the pumpkins I will be using this two-tone berry garland that I got from the Dollar Tree now I got mine last year but don't you worry because Dollar Tree is carrying some berry garlands this year I'm not quite sure if they are carrying the exact same colors but they are carrying berry garlands that you can use instead now I'm going to cut three pieces and add one to each pumpkin as you can see I am not gluing anything I'm just twisting and then to finish it off, I will be adding a jute twine bow to each pumpkin. And that is all I'm doing to the pumpkins. You can totally add more things to it like leaves. You can add a big wreath like right in front of the big pumpkin. I don't know. There's so many different things that you can do. But I am leaving mine just like this. So that is it for this beautiful pumpkin stand, which I think it turned out so cute and gorgeous.
For my next project, I will be using two of the pieces that were left over. These are the smaller ones. I am going to just glue these together using hot glue. Then I'm going to paint them using some white chalk paint. I am making a smaller little pumpkin, but this time I'm going to use it the other way around and I'm going to drill a hole at the very top. This time I'm not adding a Jenga block as a stem. I'm using this stem that I removed from a Dollar Tree pumpkin. And I thought this went perfect for this. Now before I add the stem, I do want to add some leaves on here and then add the stem right on top of it. I'm adding this Hello Autumn little wood sign that I've got from a Dollar Tree pack. I painted it using the Waverly Antique Wax. Then I add it to the little pumpkin. To finish it off, I will be adding a jute twine bow and that is it for this cute little small pumpkin. For my next project, I will be using the two leftover pieces plus another two of the decor signs. Now, honestly, I've had so many different things in mind to do with these four pieces. So I am going to show you several things that you can do with these. Now, the first thing you'll do is just glue these together to make a square. I'm going to glue them using hot glue, but you can use wood glue and hot glue if you want. I'm going to paint this with the Waverly Antique Wax, but for it to look like the Waverly Antique Wax, I'm going to paint it using white first, and then once it's dry, I'm going to paint it with the Antique Wax. So I will be showing you the first option that you can use this as, and you can use this as a frame. So you can add like a placemat underneath it, which is actually the perfect size for this. Or you can just use a different image. The second option will be as a tray, just add three of the Dollar Tree wood planks underneath. The third option will be just use this as a decorative window. For my next project, I will be using two of the Dollar Tree decor signs. Once again, I'm removing the image and the back sticker. I am using the back. Now I'm going to glue these together using hot glue. Then I'm going to paint them, but I'm going to mix two colors to make the color ivory. I will be adding the word gather using these Hobby Lobby stickers. I will be adding it more towards the side so on the other side I can add a Dollar Tree pumpkin pick. Now to add the pick instead of gluing it all in one piece I am going to take it apart and then glue it one by one. And that is it guys, that is it. Look how beautiful this gather sign turned out.
My next project is going to be quick and easy. Honestly, this wasn't going to be part of this video, but I've done this already like three weeks ago and I haven't been able to add it to any video. So I decided to add it to this since I think it goes perfectly with the rest of the DIYs. So from the Dollar Tree, I will be using a foam pumpkin. This one is white. They usually carry orange and black but I was lucky to find one that was plain white and I'm going to paint it using the Waverly chalk paint in the color celery but as you can see you can see right here where they glue the pumpkin together and I didn't like how that looked so I used a sun sheet to try to send that out but honestly that didn't work either because you can still see it and it left the pumpkin foam weird but I still decided to use it even though it left the weird. As you can see right here, once I paint it, you can see where <laughs> I used the scent sheet. Once I am done painting this, I'm going to now distress it using the Waverly chalk paint in the color Moss. I added way too much so then I just used some more celery to go over it. And that is it for the pumpkin. For the stem I'm going to use a piece of dowel that I already had. I'm going to paint it dark brown. Now before I add the stem to this I decided to use some jute twine and put it around the pumpkin where you can see the line. And that is it. Now I'm going to add the stem first and then I will be adding this Walmart floral pick which it looks so nice. Now I'm going to finish it off by adding a bow that I made using this Dollar Tree jute twine. And that is it for this pumpkin. Look how cute this turned out. Alright so for my first project I will be using these I will be using this 2023 calendar I recently got from the Dollar Tree and this cutting board. I'm not gonna lie, this board is already nice, but it's not my style. Now you can use the back of this or just remove the paper from the front. I tried to leave the handle part but I accidentally tore some of it off but I left it like that and I will be fixing it later on. Now I'm using this calendar and the month of September or whatever is on the back of September which is this beautiful image that says hello fall. Even though the paper is not big enough I'm going to just trace whatever fits the paper and then leaving it like that. Now using my Elmer's glue stick I'm going to to glue the paper on the cutting board. As you can see it looks a little bit funny how the handle part looks. So to cover all that up and to make this look nicer, I'm adding some nautical rope around it and I didn't add it to the entire handle. 
I also thought that this was going to cover the whole of this pages half, but it didn't. So to cover that up, I'm using this beautiful orange ribbon that I got from Dollar General. I'm going to make a bow without a tail and then just add it there. You can also add some greenery, but I just decided to leave it like this. I let the glue dry first before I use a piece of senshi to send out all the edges. This is going to give it more character and make it look a lot nicer. But that is it for this beautiful hello fall sign. For my next project, I will be using this photo frame and the same calendar. Now I'm going to remove all the strings. Like I said, I'm using the same calendar and I'm using this beautiful image. This is Give Thanks, which is in the back of October. Now you have two options on how to trace this, either vertical or horizontal, either way it will look nice. I decided to do mine horizontal. Now because I did mine like this, I cut a lot of the leaf image off, which I didn't like. And to fix that up, what I did is I will be using some leaves that I got from the Dollar Tree. I added some on each corner and then i glued them first and i just cut them uh, whatever was left on the edges and then i placed the backpack on the frame and that is all i added i think the leaves made it look so much better That is it for this beautiful fall decor. For my next project, I'm using this Farmer's Market 2023 calendar. Now the perfect size for these calendars are these Dollar Tree decor signs. I know this is already beautiful, but the letters on the Farm Fresh are glittery and I do not like that. For some reason, this paper of this decor sign was so easy to remove and I actually removed that entire thing that right now that I'm doing my voiceover, I was going to say, now I'm going to use the back, but I'm not using the back. I'm actually using the front of this decor sign. That's how good I removed the paper. From this calendar, I will be removing the month of September, which in the back of that is this beautiful image that says happy harvest now like i mentioned earlier 
all of these calendars do have little holes at the top so to cover that up i did cut a little piece off from a paper that i had that almost looked like it and i added it to the back of the paper you see my elmer's glue stick i'm going to glue this image on the sign this image looks beautiful as is but i feel like it needed something else so i decided to add a bow which i will be making using this jute twine The next thing I did is I defined the lines a little more and I did use a brown paint marker to do this. To finish this off, I will be using the same little juice string hanger that came with this and add some Dollar Tree beads. This sign already had holes, but I did cover them with the paper, so I just grabbed my Cricut tool to punch in the holes. I did the same thing I did to my first DIY. I used my scent sheet to just um, send out all the edges, and I honestly think that this made it look so much better. But that is it for this beautiful happy harvest sign. For my next project, I will be using another farmer's market calendar, but this one it is from this year, 2022, which I grabbed last year. From this calendar, I grabbed the image that says Farm Fresh Pumpkins, which is the back of October. Now look how beautiful this is. Now you can use another Dollar Tree sign. I was going to use this, but then I feel like it was going to take a lot of the image off so i decided not to use this instead i decided to use the little cardboard that comes with these um calendars and i honestly used two of them i just stacked them together to make this more stronger now i'm going to just glue the image using my elmer's glue stick To add more details to this, I was going to make an entire frame using some of the painter sticks, but I didn't have enough, so I'm only using two of them. These painter sticks, I already had them. I did cut these to size. Now I'm going to make two holes to one of the painter sticks. I then glue one at the bottom, and the one with the holes, I glued it at the top. And you can leave it like this, just add the bee hanger. But instead, what I decided to do is add this pumpkin that I already had. I added it to that corner where the painter's tape wasn't painted, plus this cover, that pumpkin that had flowers. I mean, it is like a beautiful pumpkin, but I felt like it didn't go with the rest of my other decor, so I decided to just cover that up. The last thing I did was just add some brown to this 
And that is it for this beautiful Farm Fresh pumpkin sign. For my next project, I will be using another calendar that I got last year, which is this year's calendar. I thought that this one that said always be grateful was a perfect one to DIY. Now, my vision was totally different. I did want to add like a big pumpkin right there where it had the cheese tool thingy. or I don't know what that tool is called in the center. But I wanted to cover that with like a big pumpkin, but I didn't have one. And the ones I had were either too big or too small. So instead, I decided to use a Dollar Tree sign. So in order for this to fit on this little decor sign, I will be cutting this in two different pieces. I started with the bottom part first that says grateful and then the always. I am not going to lie. This was definitely not my favorite i almost gave up on this and honestly i wasn't going to add it to this video but then i decided to just in case it gives y'all guys ideas now i'm going to glue the grateful first and then i'm going to cover that tool using a burlap leaf honestly at this point, I wasn't sure what I was doing, but I knew I just wanted to cover the thing in the center. And one other mistake I did is I glued that always be a little crooked. You can't really tell unless you look at it really good. I also added the leaf way too high up that I had to attach some other pieces. It kind of looked weird, so then I decided to add these orange leaves, which it didn't look that bad, but it did blend in with the pumpkin. But that is it for this Be Always Grateful, which is not my favorite, but I think it still turned out beautiful. this project I will be using six wood stakes, this floral pumpkin pick, and this family sign. Starting with the wood stakes, I will be gluing these together to make a fence. You can use wood glue or hot glue. The wood stakes are from Ace Hardware. Each stake was 69 cents. The next thing I will be doing is using a piece of scent sheet to scent this out and smooth it out. Now you can paint this fence whatever color you like, but I do want to show you two different options. Starting with the Waverly Antique Wax, look how beautiful this looks. Now I'm going to use a technique where you paint over it and then you send it out and some of the paint that you painted first picks through which honestly i do not know what the technique is called so if you know it please leave it down in the comment section because i will have to know now once i am done painting this using the waverly chalk paint in the color ivory like i said i'm using a piece of senshi and then just sending out all the edges and look how beautiful this technique made this fence look Using a wet napkin, I'm going to clean all the paint residue. 
going to let it dry and then continue now I was going to use this family sign but I didn't like how that looked I felt like the family sign was too big so instead I ended up changing my mind instead I will be using this wood sign that I got from Walmart it was $1.49 now I'm going to glue this at the bottom, then paint this using the Waverly Antique Wax. You can paint this before you glue it if you like. The next thing I will be doing is making a fall wreath using this Dollar Tree bamboo ring and this floral pig that I got from Walmart, which was 97 cents. Now I'm going to cut all the stems, leaving just a little bit of the stem, so like that. I can use the floral tape and make this easier to add the picks to the wreath. I did start by doing one at a time, but you can use one piece of tape to wrap all of them together. To hang the wreath, I will be adding a Dollar Tree little clear hook. And the best part about this is that you can use this all year round just by switching the wreath. To finish the wreath, I did add a burlap bow that I made using the Dollar Tree burlap ribbon. And look how beautiful this turned out. For my next project, I'm going to use this glass pour and this frosted window film. Both of these I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm also using another floral pumpkin pick that I got from Walmart, which is a very beautiful pick and it only cost me 97 cents. I got rid of the lid, then I wrapped the window film around the bottle and cut it to size. This frosted window film has adhesives, so it was very easy adding it. So I thought I was going to be able to wrap it around the entire bottle and I know it wasn't going to be smooth at the top. I knew it was going to be wrinkled, but I honestly imagined it differently. I thought it was going to look okay, but it actually didn't. So I do end up cutting a little more. I then decided to add some jute twine around the top part to cover the part where it looks wrinkled. This twine is from Walmart and it's actually very fuzzy. So I use a lighter to burn all of these fuzzies off and it made it look so much better. look how beautiful this looks now you can be done here and just add your greenery or you can do what I did is I took it up a notch by adding some white chalk paint with the antique wax to distress it out and made this match the rest of my DIYs the best part is that you can use this all year round by switching the greenery This is the stuff I will be using for my next DIY from Dollar Tree. I'm going to use this pecan pine decor sign. 
three jumbo popsicle sticks from Dollar Tree, this home sign to come in a pack, and from Walmart, the beautiful pumpkin pick. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is paint the inside of the sign using some white chalk paint. Using these large craft sticks that I got from Walmart, I'm going to cut them to size. Like I said, I'm only using three. Then I'm going to paint them using some white chalk paint. I'm painting the home sign using the Waverly Antique Wax. Now that I have everything painted and dry, I'm going to put this together. I'm going to start by gluing the three popsicle sticks at the bottom of my sign, but to have extra security, or not security, <laughs> to have some extra support, I'm going to use two Jenga blocks that I glued to the side. I then glue the popsicle sticks. And I almost forgot, I did mention earlier I was planning on using three of the popsicle sticks, but instead I decided to only use two of them. The next thing I will be doing is using the Waverly Antique Wax to distress this. I accidentally added way too much so to clean it up I'm going back with some white chalk paint I will be showing you two different options option number one is I glued the home sign inside then I added the pig which I did cut all the stems off and then add them in the little basket that will be option one And option two, add the home sign in the front, which I accidentally broke when I tried to remove it. But it is okay, I do end up fixing it by gluing it together. And that is it for this beautiful home sign that you can use all year round by just switching the greenery. From Dollar Tree, I will be using two large wood leaves, one large wood pumpkin, and this grateful galvanized sign that I removed from a pumpkin that I will show you later on. Starting with the leaves, I painted both of them with the Waverly Antique Wax. Now, because I'm going to glue the pumpkin on top of the leaves, I am not painting this part of the leaves. And for the pumpkin, I will be mixing two different colors the Waverly chalk paint in the color ivory and this white chalk paint which I accidentally added way too much but I did fix that by just putting it back in the bottle for the stem I used whatever was left over on the sponge and now I'm going to add some details to the pumpkin which I mix a little bit of white chalk paint and some antique wax
and so far this is how it looks i did add a little bit more and made it a little bit darker I tried to add some white to the leaves which I kind of liked and I left them like that until the end I will be changing that and then just go over it with the antique wax which you're going to see at the end. I think it looks so much better. The next step is to glue the pumpkin on the leaves. Now I used a lot of hot glue and that's the only thing I use but if you feel like you need extra support you can add popsicles to the back. The last thing I will be doing is adding the grateful sign with a green bow. I forgot to mention, I did add small little popsicle sticks to the back of the big leaves just to cover the little holes that it has. But that is it for this beautiful grateful large sign. The next project is actually my favorite. I'm using three different shapes of these Dollar Tree pumpkins. As you can see, the orange one had the grateful sign and that is what I use on my first DIY. So I'm going to remove the tags and all of the little jute twine hangers and then I'm going to paint them one by one. Starting with the pumpkin I'm going to use for the bottom. I actually got this last year but Dollar Tree right now is carrying so many different pumpkin shapes that you can use instead. Now this ribbon right here is the green I was trying to go for. So I mix a whole bunch of greens and I try to get that color. And look how close I got to the color. Now I'm going to paint the pumpkin and then after it dries, I'm going to go over it using the white, not the white chalk paint, sorry, the Waverly chalk paint and the color moss. Using the leftover paint, I'm going to distress it and that is it for the second pumpkin. I'm going to paint it using a little bit of the Waverly chalk paint in the color ivory and some white chalk paint. For the third pumpkin, I'm going to remove this blessed sign, which I thought it was going to be easy like the grateful sign, but it wasn't. So I had to remove a little bit of the paper. Good thing I'm using the back. So now I'm going to paint this pumpkin orange, but this color orange from the Waverly chalk paint and the color pumpkin was way too bright. So I'm using different browns to just tone it down. And this is also going to make it look more like a brown orange color, which I absolutely love this color this turned out. Now, once it was like semi dry, I grabbed some of the Waverly Antique Wax and distressed the pumpkin, which I absolutely love how this turned out. The only stem I will be painting is the pumpkin that I'm going to use at the top, which is this orange one. So I'm going to use a dark brown. And look how beautiful these pumpkins turned out. And I'm going to leave them plain. You are more than welcome to add anything to them. But I decided not to. So I'm going to start gluing these together. 
I'm going to glue the white pumpkin a little bit on top of the green one and before I add the orange on top of the white I'm going to use a little bit of antique wax and just dress all the edges of the white pumpkin and add more details to it. As you can see, I'm only using hot glue now. I felt like mine were pretty sturdy, but you can definitely add like a large popsicle stick on the back if you feel like yours is too flimsy. And look how beautiful this large topiary turned out. Now to finish it off, I decided to add some greenery and a bow, which I honestly made this little floral pick using different fall florals that I already had. The next thing I will be doing is gluing the floral pick, but before I glue it, I'm going to add a larger stem, which I use a large popsicle stick. I cut it in half, painted it brown, and add it to the back, which I know kind of looks funny, but once I add the floral pick and the bow, it looks so much better. And that is it for this beautiful large fall home decor. Now, if you want to hang this to your wall, you can always add the little string back. For my next project, I will be using these Dollar Tree items. Two of these wood hanging decor, this gather together sign, and this floral pick. The first thing I'm going to do is cut off the little part where the holes are at. Now, if you have some wood filler, you can just add some wood filler and that is it. Once I'm done cutting these, I'm going to glue the two planks together using some large popsicle sticks. You can honestly add as many as you like. Now I'm going to just flip it around and paint it using the Waverly Antique. This gather sign has this little cone basket that I cannot pronounce the name, but I'm going to remove it using some scissors. I'm using the senshi to smooth it out. Then I'm going to paint the sign using some white chalk paint. Using a little bit of white chalk paint, I'm going to distress the sign, then add the gather together. Instead of using the Dollar Tree floor pick, I'm using this one that I got from Walmart, which was a dollar and 38 cents. I'm going to just bend the stem a little bit and then glue it to the corner using some hot glue. To cover the stem, you can use a bow or a leaf. And that is it for this beautiful gather sign.
and these are the things I will be using for my next project. Everything I got it from the Dollar Tree except the lamb's ears. Those I got them from Walmart. So this large sign that I'm using is from Christmas and this is actually from last year. Right now Dollar Tree is carrying some from fall and Halloween. So you can use either or you're not going to be able to see what's underneath it going to start by gluing these Dollar Tree burlap leaves one on each corner and then using some of this floral foam I'm going to cut three small pieces and then add them to my sign I will be using two different maple leaf picks one that it's a little bit lighter and one that is darker so I'm going to start by gluing each leaf here and there The easiest way to add the leaves is to leave them on the stem and just cut the stem smaller and then use that to add them to the foam. So because I remove all the leaves first, I did is I used one of the stems and cut a whole bunch of little different pieces, then added the leaves back on there, then just add them to the foam, which that was so much easier. once I am done adding all the leaves I am going to add some of these little picks to the pumpkins and then add the pumpkins on top of the foam which I did use a little bit of hot glue so they can stay in place but the best part is that you can remove these and use these pumpkins for something else I almost forgot the limbs ears but this is how I added them I did remove some leaves and added them to each side to even it out to finish it off I'm going to add a bow to the middle pumpkin but that is it for this beautiful pumpkin centerpiece So I'm going to start with this Dollar Tree wood hanging decor sign that I'm going to paint white using some white chalk paint. The next thing I will be doing is getting a pumpkin from each little pack. And I can't get over how beautiful some of these pumpkins are. They come with this little clip on the back, so I did remove it from all of the pumpkins. Then I arranged them how I wanted them to go on my sign. As you can see, there is a space. I left the spacer because I will be adding a bow, but if you want to add pumpkins all around this, you are more than welcome to. To add more to this, I decided to add some of the Walmart slam ears. I did take a pick apart and I added them in between the pumpkins. Some of them I even added under. If you want this sign to go outside your door, I definitely recommend you using like a heavier duty glue, E6000 or a super glue. Now for the center of the sign, I am going to put this hello wood pumpkin sign that I got from the Dollar Tree which I am going to paint using the Waverly Antique Wax. Mm -hmm. 
another detail i forgot to mention is that if you want to use these little holes for the hanger don't glue a pumpkin right on top of it now to finish this off i will be making a bow using some of the dollar tree burlap ribbon and this orange burlap ribbon that i got from the dollar general i am going to make like a double bow or i overlap the ribbon so it's going to be a two-tone bow I have this thin burlap ribbon that I decided to add to the center of the bow and look how much nicer this made it look. Now I'm going to glue the bow where I left the space on my sign and look how beautiful this looks. Now to finish this off I will be using the same string that came with this wood sign and I'm going to add some of the beads I already have. And that is it for this beautiful Hello Pumpkin Wreath. For my next project, I will be using a piece of wood that I got from the Dollar Tree. As you can see, I already painted it white. And I'm using this Farm Fresh wood cutout that comes in a little pack that I also got from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to paint that using the Waverly Antique Wax. Now I'm going to glue the Farm Fresh in the center and then add four pumpkins, two on each side. The pumpkins that are close to the sign are going to help it stay in place. And look how beautiful this looks. Now you can leave it like that, but I decided to add this piece of leather that I removed from a Dollar Tree tag that I will be using in my next DIY. So I'm going to just glue this and that is it for this beautiful Farm Fresh sign. All right, so my next project is going to be very quick and easy. Now from the Dollar Tree, I'm going to use this plastic base, which I recently found. I was going to paint this, but then I decided to just leave it this white color and add some of this burlap ribbon instead, which I'm going to only add it to the top part. If you're wondering where I got the ribbon, I got it from Michael's. It is their Christmas ribbon, which I got last year for 90% off. To decorate this some more, I will be adding this leather tag that I got from the Dollar Tree. Now I am going to remove the piece of leather and add some jute twine instead. I made the jute twine long enough to where I can make a jute twine bow out of this and now the little leaf is going to be hanging. Once I am done doing that, I will be gluing the bow to my vase.
For the greenery, I will be adding some of the lamb's ears that I got from the Dollar Tree, or actually the leftover, and some of these wheat picks. I did cut some off and added them inside. Now, to add the pumpkins, I did use this little leftover thing that I had. I saved these because you never know what you need these for. So I will be adding some of these pumpkins to this. And that is it for this beautiful pumpkin fall vase. For my next project, I will be using a Dollar Tree LED candle, the skinnier and taller one, and a wood circle. Now, this wood circle, I got it from a pack from Hobby Lobby. But Dollar Tree carries some that you can use instead. The next thing I did is paint the wood circle white. For this project, I'm only using six of the pumpkins and I decided not to use the orange colors and instead I used these. Before I glue the pumpkins, I'm going to add some Jenga blocks. So in order for me to make sure that the candle is going to fit in the center, I traced it at first and then I added the Jenga blocks. You can paint the Jenga blocks before you add these or after, which I decided to do after. Now you can't really see them, so you don't have to paint them, but just in case you can, I painted them. Now the reason I added the blocks was because I didn't want my pumpkins to be flat. I wanted these to be sideways just like this. Now I'm going to glue them and then I'm going to add some of the ear slams with this raffia that I got from the Dollar Tree. And then I will be adding the candle in the center. I'm not gluing the candle. The candle is removable, so like that you can turn it on and turn it off. And that is it for this beautiful pumpkin centerpiece. For my next project, I will be using three pumpkins and this Dollar Tree wood plank. Now, I was going to use this, but then I remember I had this Dollar General wood plank that's already painted white, so I decided to use that instead. The next thing I will be doing is putting the word fall using these Hobby Lobby stickers that I got a while back and I got these on clearance. Instead of putting it like on the center, I put it more towards one side and I left the other side blank. That is where I will be adding the pumpkins. 
to decorate this some more i will be adding some lamb's ears now i did cut two stems off but i will be cutting these individually so they can lay flat now i'm adding three on each side then i will be adding the pumpkins And look how beautiful this looks now you can leave it like that with the hanger but instead i decided to remove it and i first thought of adding it on the side but then i decided to add it here instead For the hanger, I added a sawtooth hook instead. And this is how this turned out. I actually ended up switching the fall sign to a home sign. This home sign is from the Dollar Tree. I painted it using the antique wax and I honestly like this so much better. So that is it for this sign. I'm going to use two of the Dollar Tree wooden circles. I'm going to remove the tag. I am also using these Dollar Tree wooden beads. I will be using two packs. Now these have three different sizes. They have a small, medium, and large. I am going to pick all of the medium size. Now I thought I was going to have enough to go all around the circle, but I didn't. So I'm glad I didn't glue them. <laughs> right away I put them on top of the circle like that i knew how much space i was going to need in between each of them and honestly if i would have had a third pack i would have used the other pack and i would have just filled in all the little empty spaces but i didn't now to glue these i did only use hot glue just for video purpose only but i do recommend you using wood glue as well so for extra support i did add a jenga block in the center before I add the other wood circle on top of this, I'm going to use some of this wood filler to add it to the little holes. So I only added wood filler to this circle because this is going to be the top. Now, once this was dry, I did add some hot glue to every single little bead and then I added this on top. And this is how it looks now I did have a lot of glue so to clean that up I am using this little tool and I went and removed every little piece of glue that was hanging out in case you haven't figured out what I'm making I am making a decorative tray now I'm going to add these little stands and to do that I'm using these little decor I think they're apples or pumpkins I'm not sure what these are but I am going to remove the stem first and then I'm going to glue these to the bottom of my tray. And look how beautiful and high-end this looks you can leave it this natural wood color it already looks beautiful like this i decided to paint mine using some white chalk paint so that is it for this tray i think it turned out so beautiful and it looks so high-end and it was so inexpensive to make
So for the following projects I will be making, they're going to be very quick and easy. These are going to be perfect for this tray. Now I'm going to start with this little Dollar Tree decor sign, which I am going to remove the pumpkin in the center. I am never careful with these pumpkins. I always just tear them apart and I accidentally rip the paper, but that is okay. I always try to fix it by just gluing the piece of paper back on. Honestly, this little decor sign was already pretty as it is, but it was definitely not my style. So I'm going to just upgrade it just a tiny bit. And to do that, I will be using one of these Dollar Tree wooden pumpkins that come in these little packs. I'm going to paint this using the Waverly chalk paint in the color celery. And then to distress it and make more details on this pumpkin, I will be using the Waverly chalk paint in the color moss. Using some dark brown, I'm going to paint the stem and then I'm going to add a little bit of brown to the other paintbrush and distress the pumpkin some more. And honestly, this made it look so perfect. Now I'm going to just let it dry and then I'm going to add this to the center of my little sign. But first, I'm going to add a Jenga block. Now you can add the little foam little things that came with this. But I had already thrown the pumpkin away, so I am using a Jenga block instead. The next Dollar Tree item I will be using is this blessed wooden sign that came from a Dollar Tree pack. I'm going to just leave it the color it is, add it to the center of the pumpkin. To finish it off, I will be adding this jute twine bow. And that is it for this beautiful blessed sign, which it goes perfect on the tray. For my next project, I will be using this Dollar Tree jar. I removed the lid and then I'm going to use this burlap that I'm going to fold in half to make it smaller. Now Dollar Tree does carry burlap that you can use instead. I just didn't have any. Now I'm going to glue this so it can stay in place. And then once this is glued, I'm going to add this to the jar. To decorate this, I'm using this pumpkin and leaf. Now, I got this pumpkin from a Dollar Tree sign. I always save everything, so I thought this was perfect for this because you can bend this to go along the round of the jar, so that was great. Now, for the leaf, you can't, as you can see, but I think it still looks great. Now, I'm going to add a bow, but I wanted to incorporate that green color I'm using. So I'm using this ribbon and I'm going to just paint it using the Waverly chalk paint in the color celery. Once this was dried, I made a small little bow and add it to the jar. The next thing I will be doing is just adding some jute twine to the top part. I think this made it look so much better. And that is it for the vase. Now to decorate the vase, I'm using some Dollar Tree sunflowers. 
And that is it. Look how cute and adorable this jar turned out. My next project is going to be so quick and easy. Now from Dollar Tree, I'm using this beautiful burlap pumpkin, which I'm not sure if Dollar Tree is carrying these this year, but if they're not, you can use any foam pumpkin from the Dollar Tree for this project. Now I'm going to start by removing the stem and then I'm going to slowly take the burlap off from the top part only. I'm going to be very careful now. And then I'm going to use this secto knife to make a hole in the middle. Now I'm going to make the hole big enough so I can add this LED candle. Once I had made the hole big enough, I'm going to add some hot glue in the inside and I'm going to uh, put the burlap back on there, which you need to be very careful. I did burn myself a little bit. And that is it. Now the next thing I will be doing is just adding this LED candle. And that is it for this pumpkin, which I think it turned out so cute and so adorable. For my next project, I'm going to use this little home sign, which I've had for a while already. I actually, when these first came out, I grabbed a couple of them. And then every time I tried to make something, I was like, there isn't really much anything you can do to this but paint it. But then I thought I can make this into a fall decorative little decor sign so I can add it to my tray. So to do that, I am going to paint it first. I'm using the Waverly chalk paint in the color Moss to paint the bottom. And for the home sign, I'm using the Waverly chalk paint in the color Celery, which is a lighter green. And this is how it looks once it's dry. You can barely tell the difference between them two colors because I mixed a little bit of the Moss with the other color. Now I'm going to add this leaf to the O and then I'm going to add some of this jute twine around the bottom part to make this more, I don't know, look better. To finish it off, I'm going to make a jute twine bow and add it to the bottom of the leaf. And that is it for this quick and easy Dollar Tree home little sign, which I think could turn out so beautiful and it looks so perfect on the tray. Dollar Tree I will be using this 12 inch wood slat and this wood pumpkin the first thing I'm going to do is remove the tag and then place the pumpkin right on top of the wood slat and trace it I will be carving these little places I marked. Now I did use my drill to make three holes first and then I used my knife. 
Once I am finished with this, I'm going to set it to the side and paint the pumpkin. I used the Waverly chalk paint in the color ivory. And to make the details on the pumpkin, I used the Waverly chalk paint in the color moss with a little bit of brown. Using the same brown, I will be painting the stem. Now for the wood slat, I'm using the moss color. And look how beautiful the pumpkin turned now. Now the next thing I will be doing is adding the window clean. This image that says, hello autumn. I'm using some Mod Podge since this is for windows, not for this. To decorate this a little more, I did add some of this jute twine on the stem. Now I only add it in like on the center part. I didn't add it in the entire thing. This also cover the hole that this pumpkin had. I decided to use this beautiful Dollar Tree leaf bush to add two leaves to my pumpkin. And this is almost complete. I decided to add a bow. Now I did want to use my Dollar Tree burlap ribbon, but I couldn't find it. So instead I just made a bow using this jute twine, which honestly I think it looks perfectly with just this jute twine bow instead of the burlap bow. The last thing I will be doing is adding the pumpkin on the wood slat. Now, I thought I had made these holes deep enough, but I didn't. So to make this more sturdy, I did have to use some Jenga blocks on the back. And that is it. Look how beautiful this Hello Autumn pumpkin turned out. For my next project, I will be using this little wood box that I got from Michaels. Now, I got this a while back and it did cost me $1. I'm going to paint this using the Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Ivory. For this project, I'm using this window clean pack. Now, this is different from the first one I used. Once again, I'm using some Mod Podge to add this to the back, then add it to my sign. Now, that is all I'm adding to this little decor piece. You can add more things to it, like a bow, some greenery, or other things. But I decided to leave mine just like this, which I think it looks so beautiful. And this is perfect for a tear tray. My next project is another of my favorite ones from Dollar Tree. I'm using one of their glass jars and the window clean. I'm using this one that's a little bit longer, which it says, 
autumn splendor and happy harvest which I think it went perfect on this jar now this is glass so you don't need any adhesive this will stick directly on this but if you want to make this like permanent you can add some Mod Podge to decorate this some more I'm adding some jute twine to the top The next thing I will be doing is adding a bead on a piece of string and I'm going to add one, one on each side. Using that same string, I'm making a bow. The next thing I will be doing is adding a little candle on the inside of this jar. Now you can use this as a candle holder or you can use this as a floral base, which I use mine as a candle holder, which I think it turned out so beautiful. It looks so nice and cozy. For my next project, I will be reusing this black eraser little decor sign that I got from the Dollar Tree. I will be painting the frame using the Waverly chalk paint in the color Moth. Using this window clean image that says Golden Days, I'm going to add it to the center of this. Now, because this is like glass or it's a different material, you don't need adhesive. This sticks well on there. You can add some Mod Podge to secure it some more. I didn't because this can be removable and I can use this little decor piece on something else. Now to finish it off, I added a small little jute twine bow and that is it. For my next project, I'm using this little dry eraser little house that I got from the Dollar Tree. Earlier on the other board, I did say black eraser, which my bad, it is a dry eraser little sign. Now to paint the frame of this little house, I'm using the Waverly, or actually not the Waverly, the Apple Barrel acrylic paint in the color chocolate brown. Now don't worry if you accidentally paint the board, it is very easy to remove. You can use a wet or dry napkin. Now I'm going to add this little window clean that says celebrate autumn and I'm going to add it like more towards the bottom of the house, leaving the top blank because I'm adding some jute twine and a bow. And that is it for this little house, which I think it turned out beautiful and it's also perfect for a tray or a tear tray. For my next project, I'm using this wood frame with tin board that I got from the Dollar Tree. So I decided to use this because I thought it was gonna be the same thing like the dry eraser that was going to be able to just stick the window cling on there. But I was wrong. This is a totally different material. 
I did need some Mod Podge to add this Hello Autumn image. I am using this pumpkin that I had left over from last year. Dollar Tree does carry small little pumpkins that you can use instead. I'm going to paint it using the Beverly Chalk Paint in the color Ivory, then add it to the bottom. I did use hot glue to glue the pumpkin. I had forgotten that I had two pack of the window cleans and then when I looked at it I was like oh this little pumpkin goes perfect with this one and I did add it on top of the other pumpkin. To finish this off I did make a jute twine bow and add it where the little holes are at and that is it for this beautiful hello autumn sign. For my next project, I'm using this Dollar Tree LED pillar candle. Now this is the one that's a little bit thinner and taller than the other ones that Dollar Tree usually carries. I'm also using this window clean that says fall is in the air. Now I thought I was going to be able to stick this on there, which it kind of did, but when I was messing around with it, it kept moving. So to secure this, I did add some water. And that is it for this candle. And that is it. Let me know down in the comment section which one was your favorite because I would love to know. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, bye.